In lesson 2.3, the percent proportion, we're going to use the percent proportion to determine an unknown. So there are three different types of problems. The first type is we're going to find the percent. The next type is we're going to find the part. And finally, we're going to find the whole. An example of finding the percent might be what percent of five is four? An example of finding the part could be what number is 80% of 5? An example of finding the whole would be 4 is 80% of what number? So I can take some of those examples and I can rewrite it as 4 out of 5 is 80%. So now I want to think about this as a proportion. I have the part over the whole. And in this case, my part is 4 over my whole, which is 5. And that's going to equal 80 over 100 which is the same thing as 80%. In example one on page 122, we're trying to find the percent of, what percent of $15 is $9. So if I start out with the percent proportion of P, which is the part, over W, which is the whole, and I make that ratio equal to N over 100, and N is going to be the percent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the numbers that I know. I know that 9 is the part. It's part of 15. 15 is the whole. What I don't know is the percent, and I'm going to leave that as the variable n, over 100.
So now that I have these two ratios equal to each other, they are a proportion, I can use cross products to solve it. So 9 times 100 is equal to 15 times n. Nine hundred equals fifteen N. My next step in this problem is to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of N, in this case, fifteen. So fifteen N divided by fifteen is just going to give me N and then nine hundred divided by 15 is going to be 60. So now I can say that $9 is 60% of $15. Now it's your turn. I want you to try problems A and B on page 122. Pause here if you need to do so. Example two on page 123, we're trying to find what number is 40% of 120. So I'm gonna start out with the same percent proportion, P over W equals N over 100. My N is going to be 40. My 120 is going to be my W or my whole. So I'm going to solve for P, which is going to be my what number. So I'm going to rewrite the proportion with the values that I know and my unknown, which is P, the part. So I'll have P over 120, and that equals 40 over 100. I'm going to determine the cross products to figure out what P equals. So P times 100 equals 120 times 40. And if I simplify that, I'll get 100 P equals 4,800. To find out what P is, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 100. And 100P divided by 100 is just going to be 1P, or just P. And 4,800 divided by 100 is 48. So I can say that 48 is 40% of 120. Now it's your turn again. I want you to work on problem C and D on page 123. Pause here if you need to. In our last example, example three on page 123, we want to know 18 is 25% of what number? 
Once again, I'm going to start out with the percent proportion. P over W equals N over 100. Eighteen is going to be my part. That's going to be over some number, some whole number. I don't know what that is. The twenty-five percent is going to be the N of my percent. So I'm going to write twenty-five over one hundred. And then underneath the 18, my what number is going to be my whole. And now I can get ready for cross products. Eighteen times one hundred equals W times twenty-five. And now I'm going to simplify those. So I have 1,800 equals 25W. To determine what W is, I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by the coefficient of W, which is 25. 25W divided by 25 will just be W. And 1,800 divided by 25 is 72. So, 18 is 25% of 72. So your assignment that should be completed before the beginning of next class is page 125, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And make sure you like and subscribe to this channel for more math tutorials.